All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Andrew's Collectibles. Today we are doing our uh, thrift haul review. And what we're reviewing today is we've got four bags full of Transformers that we found. Well, three bags and one loose figure that we found uh, this past week thrifting. And I believe there's some really good ones in here. I may not know all the names. I'm going to preface that right now with the fact that I know most of the names of this stuff, but some of these, not real sure. So I'm going to require some help from my friends that watch the channel or maybe Reddit. Just shoot me a, shoot me a comment below with who it is, what line it's from, that sort of thing, because I grabbed these bags. I haven't had a chance to fully uh, identify the figures. No, I think I'll have a good idea on most of them. So we got, we're at Value Village and we picked up these guys all in the same shot. Um, they're all just loose. We got a Sentinel Prime. It's one of those quick change ones, the one step. And uh, it's kind of a neat figure. I'm not really a big fan of Sentinel Prime. It's missing this part. But I do believe we got them for $1.99 as well. I do believe that we have that in one of our loose uh, accessory bins. So, yeah, I mean, he's an okay figure. Uh, we don't have very many Sentinel Prime pieces yet. So, grabbed him. Happy with $1.99. And so we'll go through this bag. This is the one that caught my eye first because it's got, it looks like a complete ratchet in it, movie ratchet. So we got, for $3.99, I picked it up. And uh, this is just a, one of those fake transforming robots. Nothing to talk about really. But the ratchet looks like it's in pretty good shape. I'm not gonna transform him right now, but I don't see him missing anything offhand other than I believe a missile or a gun that goes there, but, and his, uh, his accessory. So I think that's where that goes. So it's missing that, but all in all, good display piece. And this bag had, I thought this was Jetfire from G1 and he's not complete, but it's not. This is one of the, uh, I want to say, um, it's not Dark of the Moon. Uh, Return of the Fallen, one of the Seekers. I don't know the name. Uh, maybe it is, but you guys can help me if I'm wrong. But he's not complete. Uh, he's missing a wing. But all in all, maybe we can complete him and get him, get him fixed up. But a pretty weighty figure. Like, heavy. Which is why originally the, the color scheme, when I saw it loose in the bag, I looked at it and I thought, oh, that's Jetfire. I got to grab that. And, or, yeah. And I, could, and I just was like, nope, that's not him. <laughs> so that's good. And then we got this guy right here. I want to say this is a Megatron. So yes, it is a Megatron. Uh, looks like he is missing a little bit of accessories, but all in all, he's almost all there. So... This is another Return of the Fallen, I want to say. And uh, I think that's the one he turned into a tank. And I'm not super familiar with the Bay Bayverse, but he's got a little bit of discoloration on his face, some like gunk here. And all in all, it's okay. Um, probably going to keep him loose, not worry about, you know, getting all the other parts to put him together. This bag I got excited because I saw. Ravage in it, movie Ravage, and he looked to be in pretty good shape from what I saw. And if you guys watch a lot of my videos, you know I'm a Soundwave junkie, so anything Soundwave related, I am going to go after 100% of the time. So he actually looks like he's got most of what, what he had, what like what he came with here, and even like the tail part isn't broken off. So, like, I'm pretty happy about grabbing this figure. Uh, this is probably my favorite one so far out of the bag. Between him and Ratchet. And then we got another Prime in this part of the bag. I'm assuming it's incomplete. Oh, it's another one of the not as good line of Transformers. You know, the quick change. I think they're called, like, activators or whatever. That's uh, okay. But it's not complete. It's broken. It is probably just best for junking. And then this is combining my two favorite things. Star Wars and Transformers. And I am not sure who this is offhand. It is Vader. So 
I'm happy about it. The figure itself is not super tight. It's got some wear and tear to it. But if you guys have been watching the videos, you know that my one of my favorite things that I've grabbed recently is my Yoda, transforming Yoda. Uh, so this will go hand in hand with him. And uh, it's pr actually a pretty good find. I mean, it needs some paint. Looks like it's got some missing pieces. Maybe I'm gonna have to transform it and take a good look at it. Maybe do it for a Force Friday review. But to have scored a, uh, like it looks like a complete Ravage, uh, looks like a almost complete Ratchet, and then a Megatron and a Vader Transformer Star Wars crossover all in one bag, or all in three bags at one shot. And I think they were $3.99, $3.99, um, $4.99, so $4.99, $4.99, $3.99, and $1.99. Pretty good deal. So... Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know if you can help me out with the name of that one, uh, of this guy right here. I'm not 100% I'm not sure. So thanks for checking out the videos and uh, like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.